Hi, it's me, Azealia, with WayCrunchy.com again today, talking about our our Waldorf homeschooling with our Christophorus first grade curriculum. Now, everybody, freeze. Gain your mindset. We are Waldorf inspired. We are not purists. We are not looking for someone to teach us how to be purists. I'm fully capable of researching on my own. But what makes us different than a traditional family is my aging and my timing. And I find first grade Christophorus curriculum perfect for my little boy. And he's four years old now, and we're having a really great time with that. Now, will I go with a more traditional aging with Waldorf, where you know you're six or seven for first grade with my little girl? Maybe, only time will tell, but that's the beauty with homeschool. So everybody who's like a purist, don't start giving me thumbs down or advice. We're chilling, we like it, we love it. We're learning so much and we're happy and we're not losing the magic of our childhood. Okay, but Christophorus, that's the topic of this blog, is the Christophorus homeschool curriculum. And I'm giving a block by block rundown on how it's working for my family. Now, we did block one, you can check out that video. Had a lot of figure drawing. Block two has been four weeks long. It's flown by. Now, the main lesson is we started language arts this time, which learning through an imaginative storytelling, um, you learn your letters. And so I use almost as like finger puppets um, when I'm telling the story, which is not illustrated, which is great because it lets them use their own imagination to like make pictures, but to put the pictures of the letters in front of them with the story. I've made kind of these little tents that I set up when I tell a story when that character comes in. K, k, k king, queen, qu -qu queen. Okay, so um, there's a whole story that runs through letters. Now, my son, like I say, is four years old and we're doing what works for us. We only did week one and week two of the language arts curriculum in a four week span. So I slowed it down and the letters that we ended up covering through the story, I know this isn't that pretty, but we did K, Q, P, W, J, G, O, M, D, E, L, H. And we got a really great mastery on all of these and you know, we work on phonics and letter recognition and of course the writing of the letters and using our imagination with the stories and what each letter is kind of a character. So that went really well for us. I'm completely pleased that we did two weeks in a four week span. Now, one of the things that made the span of time go slower is like G. G was definitely the hardest letter to write for baby Tom. I still call him baby Tom because he will always be my baby, but the G was hard. Now, like I said, the stories are not illustrated and that's definitely purposeful. But when we were struggling with G, we love to go to the library. I got the golden goose, which is the story that goes with G, G, G golden goose. If you can't tell, I've been teaching Tom a lot, <laughs> but I got an illustrated copy of that to help stimulate him more because he was struggling so much. And so we've read that many times and we see the letter G many times when we're reading it and the golden goose just came more alive for him where he was struggling with it and his own imagination, he wasn't making 
the golden goose come to life for him. So I'm totally fine with reading my baby an illustrated storybook. So we did that and it actually did help. It did help a lot and we really like the book. It's a good story and it's just another fairy tale we've got now in our little memories uh, because we've read it so many times. But that's how we mastered G. And um, the other parts um, to this block, block two of Christophorus, um, a four week block, is painting or modeling. I'm gonna be honest, we didn't really do modeling, but we did a lot of painting. And I have not gone traditional Waldorf by limiting the colors to just two colors or three colors. And this is the type of stuff. I did do wet on wet watercolor though. Like very, you know, like liquid watercolor on wet paper placed on wood. So we had a really great time with our wet on wet painting. We didn't really get to modeling these four weeks. What happened this four weeks though, is we had like two feet of snow. So, for all you mommies out there, you know the laborious part of getting the children dressed to go in the snow, then going in the snow, and my baby does not like the snow, my little baby Z, who is two, and Tom Tom loves the snow and could do it for hours. So we spent a lot of time on the snow, and um, the other part is, it was supposed to be two weeks handwork, two weeks cooking. We didn't really get to cooking, but we did do a lot of the handwork with the sheep's wool. And I did a whole separate video on my YouTube channel, Way Crunchy, and on waycrunchy.com on that process. Now, guess what? Mama made some mistakes. We washed it too much, we agitated it too much, and it got felted up. But I have a big fluffy bowl that I have fluffed up that is good, the way it should be, cleaned. And um, Baby Z loved that activity as well. She loved the sheep's wool, but you can check that out. What we didn't get to in the video on what we were doing with our handwork with the sheep's wool. Um, the fluffy, by the way, sheep's wool looks beautiful on our winter nature table because it looks like fluffy snow. But I got this great tip on the internet for um, carding the wool dog brushes instead of buying expensive cards for people like us who are new and just getting started, this is adequate. Um, so I've got my dog brushes and so we've been carding some. Now, one thing that we did get going strong was our good book, our major lesson book. So in here, I'm gonna show you our little good book. So this is letter Q and we dressed it up like the queen and made a tree and some grass. And then we did our K for King and P for Prince. And then we have J for Jester. G, look how good our G got. G for Golden Fuse. Um, whole bunch of O's. <laughs> and then our M's. And. D, we made a mistake here, but we went back over it in blue to kind of correct that because it's supposed to be our best work. Big ol' E for ya. And um, these are L's. And then this is our H. And those are all the letters that we went over. And we didn't actually get this book till the children's birthday party. We were so really blessed with the gifts that we got this year um, for the children. They've just been very stimulating and wonderful. And so we have our good book. And this is where you don't put all your practice. We have, we have gone through some paper practice in our letters and coloring and painting. And I do recycle. Thank goodness, um, but that's our good book and that's where you put your very best work that you're learning. So, that was block two. Next comes block three, which is just a one week block and it's a nature block. And I think Tom can really use the break actually. Um, that's enough letters for us for now. It takes a lot of focus, you know, and that's been really healthy for him is cultivating the focus and the concentration. We still do our walks. We still do our chores. We haven't had as much outdoor time. And when it was, <laughs> this cold is getting to me, springtime come now. But 
We've had a good time. We've learned a lot. We've kept it loose, really. We've really kept it loose, and I'm reevaluating where I'm at. I definitely want everyone to know I'm Waldorf inspired. I'm not going, and I'm also not closely, closely, closely following the curriculum. Now, with the language arts, I did exactly what it had in the book, but I felt free to augment when it needed to be augmented, and I felt free I felt free to cut the lesson completely in half. I'm feeling good about all of this. Now, I will add, we had Baby Z's birthday and Tom Tom's birthday and my parents both had their birthday and my aunt had her birthday. Everyone's birthday was this month and we had a blizzard. So it might have been a special exception kind of month, but I feel good. I still feel really good about the Christophorus and I'm so happy that we chose this curriculum and I recommend it really to anyone that it fits. You've got to do what fits for you. And I'm looking forward to a one week block on nature and